Okay, so this is kind of a follow-up to my last video about flying aircraft carriers. I figured we need to talk about the CL-2101. So welcome back to Topic of the Day, where we're talking about when cocaine addiction meets airplane design. So, I just recently talked about the Akron and the Macon. Both were built in the early 30s, and people were under the impression that they were living in the future. Like, World War I was over, airplanes were still a new thing, and look how fast the world was changing around them. We had planes, cars, electric lights, phones, radio. It only made sense to build airships that launched planes when it was the future. But now, 1969 truly was the future to these people. Hell, it was possible that someone on this project could remember a world before planes existed. In the 30s, they were just trying to see how far they could take the concept of air travel at all. But in 1969, they had split the atoms, they had broken the sound barrier, and they had landed a man on the moon. In 66 years, they had gone from inventing flight to landing on the moon. So as far as the engineers at Lockheed were concerned, 1969 was the future, and they were designing for tomorrow. The CL-2101 is truly a design only possible by Cold War America. It had an 1,100-foot wingspan, nuclear-powered engines, and F-4s strapped to the wings like bombs. This plane was not a flying aircraft carrier. This was an attempt at producing the world's first Star Destroyer. Yet, this masterpiece of what I can only assume was a cocaine overdose was not meant for this world. As the project would never be picked up, it's really just a concept, and there are far more in-depth breakdowns of this Star Destroyer on YouTube. I suggest you go and find some. It's quite interesting to really look into. But, anyways, if you enjoyed, please like and follow for more.